What up guys? So, still got these fake nails on. I'm not sure what order I'm releasing these videos, so I'm not sure if you've seen them yet, but they are super, super fucking big, and I can't get them off. Um, this is awesome. So I was thinking, while well, I still can't get them off, I might as well film some more ASMR videos. So, um, this one is kind of a tribute to a video that Anonymous ASMR did. Um, and it was like a uh, skin scratching sound like that, like kind of that kind of noise, but with acrylic nails because I, I love the way that sounds. I think it's really relaxing. Um, I remember reading that that's really relaxing for only for people who used to have eczema, like or eczema or like used to have like skin conditions because they used to not be able to scratch their skin. And so the sound of people like scratching their skin is like weirdly satisfying for them. And I think that's really interesting. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll see how this turns out. I also don't want my skin to be like fucking raw, so I'm not gonna go too hard. The main reason I put these fake nails on is because I was going to do like a phone tapping video because I love the way fake acrylic nails sound on like a phone screen. I remember sitting in the library and like hearing girls like tapping on their phone and be like oh, ASMR. So I was going to do that but I can't because I realize I have to film with my phone because my flatmate is currently in London right now and I usually film on my iPad um, and he's got that because he took it on the plane with him so he could watch Netflix. So. We're going lo-fi with a phone, which is fine, it doesn't matter. But luckily, in the pack with these, with these acrylic nails, I don't know if they're not acrylic, they're just like plastic, I guess. But um, they came, I ordered 10, and then about 300 arrived. So we can do this forever. <laughs> They're actually surprisingly soft, so it doesn't hurt to scratch myself like that. I think I've just decided right now that because this video is so much easier to film, I'm just going to upload it tonight. Um, but I filmed like two hours, maybe like an hour and a half worth of random shit with these nails on. So hopefully I should have a slightly more consistent upload schedule. <laughs> hopefully not, because I never do. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully not. Even though they're super long and they get caught on everything and they're quite annoying, it's nice to have nails because I had a panic attack a couple of weeks ago and I bit off all my nails and I really missed having like I've been trying to grow my nails out for ASMR purposes and I bit them all off stupidly. Um, but having these is fun. I might just wear these every day. 
I think I'll be disowned by my friends if I wear this every day. <laughs> One of my friends actually gave me this bracelet today, which was really nice. I am such a weird, sensitive person that anything like this, any kind of like small gift, I'm like, yes, I feel so, I love them. Which is super sad. I should probably set my heights a little bit higher, but. <laughs> oh my God, wait, hold on. Beard scratching ASMR. I hope you can hear this. I don't think you can. So I put them all on super quickly, like this one's going off to the right, this one's going off to the left. Um, and when I was trying to light a cigarette earlier, I stuck my finger in my pocket, forgetting about them, and I ripped it off backwards, and it was very sore. But my nail didn't come off, which I'm very happy about, because I've heard that can happen. Uh, and then for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, I just was like, oh my god, no, I need to stick it back on. So I just stuck it back on there, even though I'm trying to get them off. <laughs> so I literally don't even know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> Someone actually suggested that I do this video in the comments of one of my really old videos, and that's why I did it, because I was bored. But if anyone has any other suggestions, I'd be happy to have them, because I have no imagination. And when I get bored, I just watch TV and I forget to make case videos. I'd like to post on here more. I'm trying, I'm definitely trying. But um, still lacking the enthusiasm sometimes to do it all the time. Like the reason that I stopped making ASMR videos for I think like three years or two years was because honestly it was because one of the videos became not crazy like it was like it had like I think fifteen thousand views and it, that just gave me so much panic so I was like oh my god oh my god like I don't want that many people seeing me on camera because uh, I used to be very like insecure about being on camera I didn't like the sound of my voice or stuff like that. Um, and now I'm starting to get a bit more comfortable with it. I'm sure that you've noticed it because I've been more up in front of the camera and less behind it. Like usually if I was making an ASMR video, I'd be behind the camera and try my best not to speak. Um, 
It's because I did at the time I didn't like the sound of my voice or like the way I looked or anything like that. And now I'm a little bit more confident, or I'm getting a bit more confident. I'm working on it, and I think it's a pretty cool challenge to try and be like put yourself out there. Um, but the issue is, I I kind of do this more as like a like I watch my own like I watch the videos back sometimes when I want to go to sleep. I know that sounds weird, but I watch them. Um, so it's, it's honestly, and it's not to be rude, but it's like, it's more for me to do this than it is for anyone else. Um, and so like, I'm, I like that, I, I love when people comment like, oh, I love this, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it really is more for me. And so a lot of the reason why I stopped doing ASMR the first time was because I just, I wanted it, I wasn't enjoying it anymore. And I think that's fair enough. I think if it's for me, um, I can start and stop it whenever the fuck I want, honestly. And I appreciate anyone that watches but I'm gonna do it at my own speed and yeah, that's it. My arms are starting to go super red, so I might have to stop doing this soon. Honestly, wearing these, I feel like that meme of Patrick Star Wars, like, and that's on period love with the fake nails. That's exactly how I feel. But, yeah. I could literally do this all day, I find it so relaxing. Like as I was saying at the beginning, like I used to have eczema when I was a kid and I used to not obviously not be able to, you can't scratch when you have eczema, otherwise it gets so much worse. Um, and so like, the, I remember just being like, wanting to scratch that itch so badly. So doing this is like weirdly like liberating. It's like, yeah, I can scratch as much as I fucking want. I probably sound like an absolute lunatic. They're just, I'm trying my hardest to be really rough with them, hoping that they might come off accidentally, but no, which I can just, nothing comes off. That is super fucking relaxing.
I just took, I sent a picture of these nails into my group chat with my friends and they said they look like Cardi B. So they do need to come off at some point because I can't have that comparison. here um because my skin's gonna get sore but um so yeah please subscribe if you don't mind um or like this video that'd be cool um yeah i hope everyone sleeps well um and yeah make sure to comment that i'm a bad bitch because i feel like one um, so yeah good night